What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan? Coming with another video. And today what I want to talk about is CMOS and why CMOS is overrated. The reason why I want to say CMOS is overrated is because people just be buying any type of CMOS. People be buying CMOS that are produced somewhere else with fruits in it, with um, just different ingredients in it that's not supposed to be in there. So if you're buying a let's say an elderberry or a strawberry infused sea moss gel from New York or from wherever you're at. Let's say you're in California, you buy it from New York. Let's say you're in New York, you're buying it from Florida. You're in Florida, you're buying it from Chicago, wherever you're buying it from. You gotta understand the fruits that they put in it is gonna spoil it and the acid in it is gonna break anything down that's in that um, that sea moss. And also the type of sea moss that you use. Most of the sea moss that you use, they add salt. They add different type of stuff that are not supposed to be added to sea moss. The one I currently use is Honduran sea moss. And if you look at the sea moss, it's way different from the, the Irish sea moss that you buy. And um, I'm pretty sure you can buy the good Irish sea moss and, and it's not adulterated or as you may say, infused with stuff like that but i like buying the honduran kind um i put it in my vitamix and make a a sea moss gel and um and that's the way i take it i put in a tea a hot tea and mix it around the gel i do um and the way i make it if you if you put the bottle of sea moss upside down it won't even move it's like a it reminds me of a like a how you say it like a What's that? <laughs> like yogurt, my bad. It's like yogurt. So if you if you put it upside down, it won't even move. And um, I spin it around and stuff like that in my Vitamix. And um, I have enough sea moss. Um, I try to use it. I make a big batch of it. Like a, how many ounces? I think that's 16 ounce bottles that I have. And I try to fill it up all the way. And um, I don't know how long this 16 ounce bottle is going to last. But maybe two two weeks. Depending if I take it in the daytime and if I take it at the nighttime, it might last a little bit, um, like two weeks, maybe two to three weeks. But you want to use it as soon as possible. You don't want it to leave it in the refrigerator for too long. However, y'all need to stop buying all these. Everybody's selling sea moss these days. Sea moss here, sea moss there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's peanut butter flavor sea moss. I understand once something gets popular, everybody's just gonna take it and. and and do whatever they want to do with it. If I would you do your research, find out where you get where they get their sea moss from, because you want to get the benefits of it. You just don't want to be having it so you can take pictures of it on Instagram and just show everybody that you're taking sea moss. I don't post pictures of my sea moss. I you can fight whoever you want. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of online fighting going on. Which sea moss is better? This and that, and just like anything that comes out, burdock root, burdock root. Um, just a whole bunch of teas that I've been taking. My favorite tea that I've been drinking. Oh, this is not it. Well, I have, damn, I thought I had the back here. Next time I'll show you the teas that I'm drinking and my favorite one. I use it sometimes depending on how I feel. I'll just mix a whole batch of it and put it together and put it in. But recently I've just been putting like one, two or three different types of teas together and making like that. I used to put like five or six, but, um, I'm going little by little and then making my teas like that. But like I said, sea moss. Find, do your research. Find out where it comes from. Because like anything, once big corporations start taking it, they just start taking everything out of it. So what's the whole point of having all the vitamins and minerals that you get from sea moss when it's, it's not useful? You know, so um, do your research. Uh, to me, again, to the point where sea moss is just useless these days. Because every, not useless to... To the person, it just it becomes something. It, it, it becoming a fad now, and it's great. You know, it's great. I'm, I hope more people start taking it. But when they start just adding different mixtures, you're gonna have, like I said, peanut butter flavored sea moss, um, <laughs> almond butter sea moss, um, stuff like that. It's great, but man, just take the natural of it and just use the the, the whole plant. Just use the whole thing. Simple. Put in a tea. Boom. Just water. And sea moss. That's what I use. Water and sea moss. I don't need no flavored sea moss. If I want to flavor it, 
I put it in the smoothie myself. I don't need no to buy flavored stuff from anywhere else. If you don't know how to make it, go on YouTube. Um, it's quick and simple. I made I made it my my Vitamix and it's the perfect consistency that I need in my 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 in my tea and in, in my smoothies. So that's the way it goes. So sea moss is getting overrated these days. Just buy the right one. <laughs> Peace.